Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Height, lipidologist at CardioSound. I want to talk about heart attacks. A heart attack is dangerous even after you survive the heart attack. It can be dangerous for years. How dangerous is it really to survive a heart attack? And how dangerous is it in your company for your employees to survive a heart attack? Here are the mortality statistics. For those over 45, starting at 30 days, about 1 in 13 women and 1 of 22 men don't survive 30 days after a heart attack. Now, if you don't have traditional risk factors like cholesterol, blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, the 30-day 30, the 30 risk doubles. What about the first year? 1 of 4 women, 1 of 5 men die within 1 year. 5 years, 1 of 2 women, 1 of 3 men die within 5 years. 8 years, about 65% of women and one of two men will die within eight years after surviving heart attack. So let me ask you a question. In your company, what's the survival rate after heart attack? Why is that such an important question? Because heart disease is preventable. Heart attack survivors should never have to worry about having another heart attack. How can I say that? Heart disease can be reversed. A lot of people don't believe that's true, but it is true. How do I know it's true? Because that's what we do every day. We see patients reversing their artery disease every day. We have a 100% survival rate after a heart attack. And our numbers are statistically significant at one year, five year, and eight years. And I don't know of anybody else in Georgia who can say that. So if it's true that artery disease can be reversed, well, then if you're responsible for the health plan of your company, if you're a benefits manager or a health plan administrator or a CEO, for instance, you can make a huge difference at your company. You can save lives. How would you do that? Well, if you're a small company with less than a thousand employees, you can make sure your health plan administrator uh, refers all new or recent heart attacks to someone who has an excellent track record with heart attacks. If you're a larger company, then you're probably seeing three to seven heart attacks per year for every thousand employees. In that case, you need to document, I think, what your heart attack survival rate is at your company. So you have to be willing to ask some really hard questions like for our employees who have heart attacks, how effective is our health plan? How do those patients fare at a, at a year, five years, eight years? Here's how you can find out. Four steps. Ask your health plan administrator these questions. How many females and how many male employees had heart attacks in each of the previous nine years? And what were the dates of hospital admission? Now you may have to dig deeper because in one study only 37% of heart attacks were actually listed as the primary diagnosis being heart attack. So you may have to ask for heart attack codes used as secondary diagnoses. And you may need to ask for procedure codes for stents and angioplasty. But be persistent until you get the data. The next step is to ask for the dates when medical benefits ceased because of the demise of the heart attack patient. And then link these two sets of data together. The hospitalization date for each heart attack to the date of death. And then you've got the data you need. You want to ask this question. For each year of those who survived their heart attacks, how many died within the first year, during the first five years, and within eight years? Then calculate your company's heart attack death rate and then the survival rate at one year, five year, and eight years. Once you have that data, you can compare your data to the population data at large, the statistics we just talked about. And that's how to find out how your company health plan is doing with heart attack survivors. If heart attacks are preventable, and they are, and if artery disease is reversible, and it is, then think for a minute about what it would be like for your career at your company, for your legacy to be about saving lives. What do you want to be remembered for? No company has ever achieved a 100% survival rate after a heart attack. And a, a lot of people say artery disease cannot be reversed. It's just a fact of life. They say setting a goal of 100% survival is simply not attainable. It's like, well, they might even say, it's like trying to put a man on the moon. Uh, but I can tell you when John F. Kennedy said that's what they were going to do, folks at NASA didn't know how they were going to do it, but they believed they could do it. If you could look back on your numbers two years from now 
and you'd have achieved a 100% survival rate at one year, five years from now, found that you'd achieved a 100% survival rate at five years. I can tell you it's attainable. This is the largest um, risk group, people who've already had an event like a heart attack, and we know how to help them reduce their risk. So we can tell you what works and what doesn't work. We do this every day. So if you decide you want help to get there, contact us so we can help you. Thanks for listening.